What's up, Beatles? I'm going to do for you my UFC 92 The Ultimate Predictions. For me, I have a stuffy, bloody nose. Um, so... Just, if I sniffle a lot, um, that's the reason why. Okay, I'll start from the card bottom to top. Next up, we have Anthony Hordonk beating the crap out of Mark Birch, because I don't know who the hell Mark Birch is, and Anthony Hordonk is a sick kickboxer. Next up, we have Mad Hamill against Reese Riptide Andy. Reese Andy is a guy who lost to the, the stupid-looking Brandon Vera in his light heavyweight debut. I'm taking Mad Hamill by UD. And apparently, I didn't really make a selection here. But I'm making it a decisions UD, unanimous decision. So we have Dan Evanson versus Pat Barry. I originally was going to pick Dan Evanson to win because of his weight and height advantage. But then I kept on re watching the footage with Congo and he looked utter garbage in all aspects. And Pat Barry is supposed to be on a bit of a roll. So I'm picking Pat Barry to win sometime first, second. Round maybe I'm gonna say second just so just to see if Danson does come to shine and everything. And then we have bad Brad Bad Blackburn versus Rio of Piranha Chonan. A lot of people are picking Chonan, however, I am not because although they were both pretty evenly matched actually overall, I am picking Blackburn because I think he's a better fighter and I think his resume is a little bit more impressive. But uh, but I think it's going to be a split decision because Rio tends to do that. He tends to win or lose just by the slimmest of margins. Next up we have CB Dolby against Mike. Mike Missens, you're not Matt. Okay, CB, I think he's decent, but I'm picking Mike to win by tap out in the first round because he tends to... Because CB... Is it, I think CB's at tad overrated on the tough. He's kind of like the junior brownie except less retarded. So that's all I have to say on that. And so we have Forrest Griffin versus Rashad Evans. I'm picking it for Rashad Evans because it seems that the kryptonite for Forrest are Greg Jackson fighters. That and if Rashad Evans can knock you out and so can Keith Jardine, I don't s Let's put it this way. I think that if Jardine can knock you out, I think Rashad can easily knock you out. I am just thinking Rashad Evans because he's smaller, he's quicker, and I think that he is not going to underestimate Rashad Forrest like what Rampage did. So I'm picking Rashad to win by, either by UD or, or I won't be surprised if he knocks him out late, but I'm picking UD just to be a um, little conservative. And so we have Yushin Okami versus Dean the the Boogeyman Lister. I'm picking Thunder by a uh, snooze fest decision. Next up we have Quentin Jackson versus Vandalay the Axe Murder Silva. And Vandalay's knees will be eating Quentin's chin for breakfast for the third time in like four years maybe? I'm not sure when their last bouts were but they were in pride and Vandalay beat the shit out of Quentin. And I think Quentin being, heavy, being the mental wreck that he is, and not having a consistent fight camp, and basically everything you know, that he is, that he wasn't in Pride now or before he fought Forrest, it's going into effect. He's just going downhill, in my opinion. And I think this is what we're going to get: Vandalay, second round TKO, KO. Next up, we have Chuck Cano beating up a guy with a funny name that's a can. Doesn't really matter who, but picking Chicago. Next up, final main event is Antonio Rodrigo Minotauro Nogueira versus Frank the Tank Mayor. And I'm picking Rodrigo by TKO in the third round because Frank Mir has no cardio and has no shin. Minotauro has good shin, good cardio, and just better in all aspects in my opinion and those are my f predictions they're pretty short due to the fact that um, a lot of these guys are, don't know that much about I'm just getting from what I'm all, a lot of the information from the new guys are from second hand that's why it's a lot quicker than usual but I'm just one of those few guys that think Bashar Evans is going to beat Forrest I just think that he's not going to underestimate them. that's my main reason why 
Anyway, those are my predictions. I'm a peace out now, and hopefully this will get on YouTube soon. Bye. Oh yeah, Christmas cheese up.